uh, you know, we, we've been talking about collectivism a whole lot. It's, it's one of the favorite words of uh, the left side of the political spectrum. Right. And I, I thought it would be helpful if we identify, first of all, what they say it is and then what it really is. Okay. Um, collectivism is, uh, uh, as it's usually defined, is any kind of political or economic or social philosophy that stresses our interdependence with one another. Right. Hey, you and I agree with that. We couldn't live without each other. We, we got it. We know that. We understand right. no that. No man is an island. We get it. That's not what collectivism really means. What collectivism really is, uh, is a formalized, deliberate structure, a deliberate attempt to create a moral matrix to legitimize taking things from one group of people and giving it to another. That's what collectivism is all about. It's essentially finding a, uh, a framework of virtue about stealing. That's what it is. And, um, and, and the key thing to understand is that, um, that there is a certain manure. Can I say manure on the Yeah, air? you can say it. Yeah. Okay, well, there's a certain manure that fertilizes collectivism, and that is the manure. Excuse me, I, I speak rabbi. Um, he means bullcrap. <laughs> That's what he said. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Thank you right, so much. Yeah. And, and, and at any time that uh, yeah, uh, I, I use I, words that, uh, sure, that people aren't going to get. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> so there's, uh, there, who's fertilizing? The manure is materialism. The environment and, uh, and um, uh, culture of materialism embraces, opens the door, welcomes in collectivism. And once collectivism has grabbed hold of the minds of men, the fire is lit and there's no putting it out. Okay, so, wait, 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 wait. So this would, what you're saying here is what's fertilizing it is um, the designer labels, really cool shoes, great cars, great house, and then uh, MTV Cribs, uh, the things that glorify materialism. Um, Glenn, yes, but can I go just a step further, yeah. which is that those things you're talking about, the designer labels and the, uh, the, 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 the flaunting uh, ostentatiousness, those things are like the fever when you have a disease. They're one of the symptoms. They're not the underlying cause. What we have to get to is the, the virus inside that that brings about all of these things, that makes materialism uh, catch a hold in the hearts and minds of people, and then welcomes in collectivism. Okay, so, so once you have, let me, let, me, the, let me just finish going to the actual uh, death throes of the, the, the high fever. Once you have all of those things where you're saying that is one of the symptoms, the fever is, you know, MTV Cribs, if you will. Um, and, um, but the, the thing that brings in collectivism is that getting out of control so people say, I want more. I can't have more, I can't afford more, but he has it and I want it, right? That's um, what brings collectivism is? And, and, even, and even deeper than that, it is the fundamental conviction that nothing that isn't material matters in the world. In other words, even to the point that you and I are nothing more than $9 worth of common chemicals that every single emotion of love you and I have felt, uh, every act of valor, every poem we've, we've read or every song we've sung is nothing more than an accidental interaction between a bunch of neurons caused by some chemical okay. imbalances. Is this why 